So we're here to solve this Kakuro by Prasanna Sushadri called four-way intersections. The first thing I'm seeing in the grid is actually there are a lot of underclued spaces, like a lot of these black cells where it would have been a clue here or here, or actually either of these. Um, there actually looks like three contiguous columns that are nine cells long, this middle column and these on left and right, so that'll be a one to nine set. And also then left to right, this will be another one to nine set. So we're gonna get some const Sudoku constraints required here to place these values. And that's likely what the four-way intersections from the title refers to. I'm gonna start by marking in some obvious things. And these 16s are pretty clear and these fours are pretty clear. Um, the 16s are a little more interesting because they actually intersect in these cells. So I've got a seven, nine pair already in this row, which means when I look at a 29, which is seven, eight, nine, the cell can't be a seven or nine because that's already over to the right. So this has to be an eight. And 11 in three cells can't take a nine in it, so this will have to be a seven here, and that puts in a one, three, one, three, and so we actually have just now formed another pair one, three in this column. I don't see more to do with that yet, at least there's no other space for like a very small number is expected. That would now be constrained. Probably this cell will need to put a small number here, but I don't see something I can do directly yet. Um, this, though, this 5 into a 28 is a forcing intersection with a min-max value. I'm used to seeing these by now, but a 5, which can only take as large as a 4, is in this row that has a clue that can only take as small as a 4, leaving behind 7, 8 here, and a minimum value of 1 in the cell. What are some more things you can do? Well, 29 is a 5, 7, 8, 9 forced group. Uh, this 11 can't take a 9 up top. I think that's all I can mark there. 22 will always have to be 5 or larger, 15 will have to be 6 or larger, 21 can be 4 or larger, so there's sort of some large-ish or medium to large-ish cells, so I think we'll, we'll keep that note for the future. But maybe this is a good time to come back to the top, because we already have marked off the three highest possible cells, and so that means that 6 is the next largest value. So let's come over to this clue, because we actually don't have in these columns any clues given, and a 6 or five or four or three or two are all sort of good values here. But over here, I think the six, six or five or something like that is very forcing. And that's because a one is an option down here, but one and six can't make this whole thing work out. So this will have to be three or this space. That means actually we can't take a four here because again, we wouldn't be large enough. So this is three here, making this up top be an eight, nine. That makes this be a two, three. And as I said, this is what's gonna force an intersection of these small values. This has to be a small clue, but can only be a two puts in a 9, puts in a 5. That now actually means coming across, this can be a 4 or 6, but all the other values have been eliminated for it. These will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and actually this cell we can do a little more with it. That's a 2, 3, 4, 6, it doesn't have a 1 in it, but not much more to do with that row clue. And again, these columns are included, so there's nothing except for intersections that will make that work. So let's look in this column instead. We've got three very small values, so now all these other cells have to be four or larger. That doesn't look as important here, but this 11 clue looks pretty important. So if conceptually this is four or larger, four can't work with seven here or with eight here because those get too big, so this can be a five. Um, if this is a six with a five, there's nothing over here, so this has to be a four. That four or five works with a two, still valid with this one up above, but this was a constrained minimum. That now actually means coming back to this cell. This now is a single of a six from the intersections around it. We still have five, seven, eight, nine in the space. And how is that gonna work? Um, not so much here that I see yet, but at least in these cells, these are both big and nine and five is gonna get to 14, that's no good. So nine is out in these spaces. One of these has to be a five and actually the five not over there. So this will have to be a five. This can be a seven or eight. That will then pair these with one or three or one or two, depending on which clue is here. But we can put some small values in, cancel these out. I'm seeing one note, which is that actually one of these is a nine. Uh, actually we'll have like a nines here or nines here because there's a nine in these two cells and nine in these two cells, which means in this sum, there's a nine. So let's then think about which of these values that can be. If this is a three, three with nine requires a six. I don't see a six in the space. So this will have to be a one with a three. This will now have an eight, nine pair coming across and everything else there looks valid right now. So this looks like a good set of clues. 
nothing more from these columns, so let's start to go across these rows. And I'd mentioned early on that some of these were some pretty large values. So let's just mark those in. This is six, seven, eight, nine. This is five, six, seven, eight, nine. Because there's a nine in one of these two cells, because again, there's a nine, nine group. No nine here, no nine here. So actually no six here. Um, here's another cell though that now we know is revealed to be pretty big. This is a six, seven, or eight. And so here are five cells that are five or larger and actually four cells that are six or larger. So that's a quartet forces a five over here. Means that eight, nine, eight, nine will finish this out. That also means that now we just have left one, two, four in these spaces. And this clue in a 21 is now gonna be a min-max value. If this is not a four, we can't get this to work. So this is eight, nine coming above. Eight, nine, eight, nine, or 17, that makes this a one, makes this a two, makes this a one. This cancels out, but that now actually means this value here, remember this is one with two or one with three. There needs to be a one in this clue coming across. So the one is here, makes this an eight, and eliminate these only place for a six now in this row is here. So this is six with nine. Don't see more I can do with that yet, but this is a, another great set of progress in the grid. Uh, we have these sort of coming up, which means again, these, these four cells are one, two, three, four, because everything else is big in the row, but this can't be a one or two from below. This can't be a one from below, so there's only this cell for a one. Uh, eight or nine going in this cell will leave behind six or seven coming across. That's one, two, four, or one, two, three. So this row always needs a one in it in one of these three cells, and it can't be in this one or that one. And this, where it's again now two or three or two or four, always, always needs a two in it, and that can't be anywhere but this cell. And this will be three, four. That two gives this three, which gives this seven, nine, eight, seven, nine, eight, seven. So we're just filling in the four sums. These two, three forces this to be a four, which makes this a three, which makes this a two. That now means this is seven, eight, nine coming down. This three means this is a four, which adds up to seven, which puts this as an eight, nine, eight, nine. Everything else now in the space is going to be five or larger, so this will have to be five or larger. Notice that's going to have issues with the values to left, so five and seven or five with eight work, but seven can't be here, nine can't be in here. This will be something like a one or two. Is that also true in other rows? Well, this will have to be big. And actually this cell will also have to be big. So how is this 20 going to work then? So in these three cells, the smallest values are fives and a seven. So five, six, seven, which adds up to 18 as a value for that, that would leave behind a two here. Could also get 19 and put a one here, but there's now a one up above. So this has to be a two, and this will have to be the five, six, seven, eight group. And that has a single place where seven can go. And that now means in this group, this is eight with nine up above. This eight forces a minimum for five with one puts in a six, puts in a five. Uh, this now whole column has seven, eight, nine to go, and seven, eight is here, but the nine's canceled there. So this is how that fills in. Um, this nine means the seven's here and the nine is there to finish that column out. That nine comes over here, puts in a seven, puts in a nine, puts in a six. This whole column needs an eight and a nine to finish. And the nine is in the bottom row already, so we put in a three and we finish the grid. So Really, really good use of large and small throughout the puzzle. I actually really enjoyed seeing how we had large digits, small digits, large digits, working around these quadrants of the grid, coming through these really long clues. So really good crosstalk in this puzzle, a challenging solve throughout, but hopefully you've got a sense of how to piece it bit by bit and identify cells through sort of five plus, five minus, so sort of kind of uh, notations in, in PenPy that you do have to put like all those values into the cells to see the plus minus sides, but those clues will get you through uh, the solve fairly well. Uh, one place that if you didn't catch it on was probably actually these two nines. I think getting, I was lucky to get this one three in this lower left corner, but I could have easily branched out and done a lot of this large values without actually setting 
this one option through this three options. So if you got stuck in the grid, it might have been that you didn't have this lower left corner resolved yet. So thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you again soon.